First of all, check visual acuity of each eye with glasses on if they require them. They should be able to see the target that you're going to use to test visual fields. They should be seated comfortably at your eye level about arm's length away. Okay, I'd like you to keep both eyes open and look into my eyes. I'm going to either move my left finger, my right finger or both fingers and I'd like you to tell me whether I move my left, my right or both. Left. 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 Right. Both. White pins are more easily seen, so use this to screen for peripheral field defects. Can you cover your right eye with your right hand and look into my right eye? I'm going to bring in this white pin from the side and I'd like you to tell me as soon as you see it. Yes. Yes. I'm just going to map that area out a bit more detail. Uh, if you tell me when you see the pin coming in from the side. Yes. 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 And tell me when you see the pin coming in. Yes. Yes. And you see the pin quite clearly there? Yes. Thank you. If you find a visual fuel problem, define the edges and try and identify whether it is one eye only or whether it is homonymous or bitemporal. When there is a homonymous hemianopia, check whether there is macular sparing. And can you cover your left eye with your left hand? Look into my left eye and tell me when you see the pin coming in from the side. Yes. Yes. And do you see the pin quite clearly there? Yes. I'd like to tell me when you see the pin coming in from the side. Yes. Yes. I'll just do this in more detail. If you tell me when you see the pin coming in. Yes. 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 If one finger is ignored when both fingers are moved together, but it is seen when it is moved alone, then there is visual inattention. In patients with headaches, visual fields must be tested in more detail. This patient has a homonymous quadrantinopia. A hemisphere tumour can cause a quadrantinopia or a hemianopia. This may be asymptomatic. A pituitary tumour or a supracellar tumour may cause a bitemporal visual field defect. This too may be asymptomatic. Papilledema can cause mild enlargement of the blind spot and mild constriction of the visual fields. This can be difficult to pick up on peripheral field testing and fundoscopy is crucial.